Hi guys, Kylie here with latest Wii U games and welcome back to some more online gameplay of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the Wii U. So this is post commentary guys and we're hunting a low rank Duramboros. And on this quest I'm using my Lagiacris armor and my fire longsword. I'm hunting with my brother Rafuto and friends Mark and Tim which is H8H2 and TJ Spark. So Duramboros is weak to fire and he has a heck of a lot of health. So um, even if you've got quite a lot of players with you, if your weapons aren't especially that upgraded, you'll probably still find that this quest takes quite a long time just because of the sheer amount of health he has. So Duramboros isn't like any other monster you will have fought. He is pretty unique. He moves kind of similar to Devil Joe in certain respects when he does his charge attack and um, moves his head from left to right while he's charging forward. That's kind of similar to the way Devil Joe moves. But other than that, and his um, ram attack, he has unique attacks. He has an attack called the merry-go-round, which is where he will spin around in a circle, which you'll see at some point on this video. And um, it covers such a lot of ground because he does have a long tail. So you either want to stay well away from that, or if you go to his feet and you attack his feet, you can actually trip him over. And this is a really good thing to do, guys, because if you then lay into the humps on his back and you explode those, you can actually mine those. Um, well, you could on Monster Hunter Portable 3rd anyway, um, but I'm not too sure if you can mine them on this version because I haven't been able to do that yet. But anyway, if he spins around and he launches himself into the air and then he falls down, if you have cracked his tail, you can also mine off his tail once per quest. So don't forget to bring pickaxes with you. And also, even if you've broken off his tail casing, um, you can still mine off that tail if he does that launch into the air and lands on the ground attack. Um, you can still mine off that once per quest. His humps generally don't take too much damage before they explode. For a bow user it's a lot easier, but if you're a sword and shield user or a blade master in general, it can be a lot harder to destroy those humps if you're playing on your own. So the best thing I suggest is to aim for those legs when he does that merry-go-round attack just to trip him and then you can just lay into his humps. Um, I have actually tried the sleep bombing method against him, but if you're going to do that I suggest not taking Kiamba and Chacha with you because they are a bit dense and sometimes they will attack him and wake him up. Um, but other than that, the sleep bombing method can work pretty good against getting rid of those humps on single player. Um, but generally it's not needed, you can just still trip him up with attacking his legs and going for those humps. The tail also doesn't take too much damage before it gets cracked and then again before the actual casing itself comes off which you can carve from. His horns can also be destroyed guys, um, so just lay into those. But other than that, this monster can take quite a lot of damage before he becomes weak and he can also dish out quite a lot of damage, especially if t his tail hits you. Um, and also he can make you have the tremor, so if you're near his tail when he does slam down, um, your character may be stunned for a, a couple of seconds. Um, as you can see, the merry go round attack, like I said, does cover a lot of ground and um, unless you buy his legs, you want to stay well away from that just because otherwise you'll keep getting hit constantly. So, like I said, Duramboros himself is a cool monster. His weakness is fire. If you don't have a fire weapon, I suggest just going for a weapon that has the highest damage in your inventory. Um, I wouldn't worry about armour at all with this monster because it doesn't do any elemental type attacks on you. So just make sure that your armour gives you good defence and it's quite upgraded and you should be um, perfectly fine defence wise against this thing. So yeah, other than that guys, I'll just say enjoy the rest of this video. Don't forget to like and su subscribe. You've been watching Kylie with latest Wii U games and I hope to see you next time.